Welcome to the Seder update video, Bloxy 4.2. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I want to show you is that we added markdown support. So if you go to settings, general settings, down here you'll see markdown. And you can turn it on or off, so we have it turned on. And when you have it turned on, you'll see that it adds a little markdown icon here in the dock. So let's start a new post tap on markdown and when you're in the markdown mode you'll see it's a nice big clean white interface if you tap the keyboard will come up and you'll notice that we have the extended keyboard for markdown now I'm not gonna write a bunch because I don't want to bore you guys so I'm gonna paste in some markdown here's the markdown when you're done writing your markdown tap done and Bloxy converts the markdown to standard HTML so you can drag in images or drag in photos if you want. So that's Markdown we added. Another thing we added, you'll notice up here, this Save button. Blogsy is always saving, but if you just want to be extra careful, you can just tap here to save a version. And now, you'll notice in here, in the plus button, over here we have a clock with an arrow, and that is for different versions that have been saved. So if we tap on that, you'll see the time it was saved and uh, how many photos and videos were in the post at that save. So that is versions, and hopefully you guys like that. We made some UI changes, if you didn't notice already. First, we made this online button out here on the main front UI. Before, it was under the post info menu, but we moved it out here. So now, to get to your online post, tap the O, and it'll have all your blogs that you have set up. And, of course, you can just go to your blog and fetch any post to edit it in Blogsy if you want. Also, if you didn't already notice, the plus button actually lists your local drafts and gives you an option to start a new post. Another UI change we made. Under the photo library, we put this envelope button at the top. So before, we had this functionality, but it was, the button was down here and it was hard for people to find. They were confused by this. So we moved it right up here to the top of this menu, and so it will always be there. So you can tap on that to go to the envelope view and drag in your images to any envelope you want for any place you want to upload them, multiple locations, multiple images, and upload them at that time. Or you can just do the direct mode where you drag the images into your post and they'll get uploaded when you publish. When you publish. So then we move that envelope to make it more obvious and easier for users. Another UI change we made. If you go to post info, and go to the bottom, you'll find the default photo upload location. Before, if you wanted to do this, it was in the settings menu. But we moved it here to the post info menu because we realized that people that are pu publishing to different blogs want to change where the photos will be uploaded to and it just makes it easier to have in the post info menu. So that's another one. Another thing that people have been asking for that we added, here go settings, general settings, HTML keyboard. So here you can see we've got it turned on. What's that mean? Well, if you go to the HTML side, tap, you'll notice the extended keyboard with the most common expressions for HTML. One more thing, the last thing I want to discuss here, and we made this dummy program to show this in action. So we have a URL scheme, and if other apps add it to their app, then you can send content directly into a post in Blogsy. So here, our dummy app, we added some, some text with actually HTML written in it, copy to Blogsy. You'll get this message. You can do the rich side, HTML side, or markdown. So even though there's HTML in it, you can still do to rich side. You'll see that it's fine. But let me here, let's go back and do this again. 
Okay, so let's do the same content. If we do it to HTML side, then it'll do it to this side. The reason is, if the HTML is incorrect in that other program, the HTML you're sending to BlogZ is not correct, there's not the correct ending tag or there's some problems, it can cause problems in BlogZ. So you can open it up on the HTML side, fix the HTML, and then flip to the rich side. That's why you have that option there. Okay, let's try the markdown. We're going to send the markdown now. We have this markdown. Copy to Bloxy. We send it to Bloxy. And you can choose the markdown. And it automatically parses the markdown and converts it to standard HTML. So now you can drag in photos and videos or whatever you want to do. And that is Sadar. Sadar, guys. <laughs> Enjoy Bloxy.